In the realm of scientific discovery, the unexpected often leads to breakthroughs that reshape our understanding of the world. An interdisciplinary team of researchers, comprising mathematicians, engineers, physicists, and medical scientists, has recently achieved just such a revelation. By forging an unexpected connection between the seemingly abstract field of pure mathematics and the complex realm of genetics, this team has illuminated a fascinating link that sheds light on the structure of neutral mutations and the evolution of organisms. At the heart of this revelation lies number theory, a branch of mathematics dedicated to exploring the properties of positive integers. Often hailed as the purest form of mathematics due to its theoretical nature, number theory has long been considered far removed from practical applications. Yet, history has shown us that this seemingly esoteric field frequently finds its way into the realms of science and engineering, surprising us with its real-world relevance. From the renowned Fibonacci sequence manifesting in the arrangement of leaf angles to the modern encryption techniques rooted in prime number factorization, number theory has consistently demonstrated its unexpected usefulness. Now, researchers have pushed the boundaries of this connection even further, unearthing an intricate link between number theory and evolutionary genetics. The group of researchers, hailing from prestigious institutions such as Oxford, Harvard, Cambridge, Gust, MIT, Imperial College, and the Alan Turing Institute, delved into the uncharted territory at the intersection of number theory and genetics. Their findings unveiled a profound correlation between the sums of digits function from number theory and a critical parameter in genetics known as phenotype mutational robustness. Phenotype mutational robustness is a pivotal aspect of genetics representing the average probability that a point mutation within a genome will not lead to a change in the organism's observable traits or characteristics. Essentially, it quantifies the stability of these traits in the face of genetic mutations. For a long time, the existence of neutral mutations, genetic changes that accumulate without impacting an organism's viability, has intrigued scientists. These mutations play a role in the gradual alteration of genome sequences over time, serving as a key factor in understanding evolutionary timelines. By quantifying the percentage difference in genetic sequences between two organisms, researchers can estimate the time since their most recent common ancestor. However, the question of the proportion of mutations that are genuinely neutral remained a puzzle. This is where phenotype mutational robustness comes into play, revealing the average number of mutations that can transpire across all sequences without altering the observable traits of the organism. Leading the study, Professor Ard Lewis of the University of Oxford emphasized the exceptionally high phenotype robustness observed in various biological systems is essential for the process of evolution. Yet, until now, we lacked insight into the maximum possible robustness or whether such a ceiling even exists. This study has, remarkably, answered this long-standing question. The researchers demonstrated that the maximum robustness correlates with the logarithm of the fraction of all possible sequences that map to a particular phenotype. Intriguingly, this relationship incorporates the sums of digits function, denoted as SK, in which sums the digits of a natural number n in base k. This discovery offers a new perspective on the nature of robustness and its connection to fundamental mathematical concepts. Furthermore, the unexpected revelation that the maximum robustness is intertwined with the enigmatic Tagaki function has added another layer of complexity to the findings. Takagi function is a function named after Teiji Takagi a Japanese algebraic number theory mathematician and the founder of class field theory. It refers to a continuous but non-differentiable fractal function. This function curve is called a Takagi curve or the Blanc mange curve because its image looks like a Blanc mange, a French pudding dessert. The Takagi function is not differentiable at any point. This means that there is no way to find a slope at any point of the function to represent its rate of change, unlike the smooth functions we are usually familiar with. 
Its images have a fractal property, which means that when you zoom in on a part of the image, you will find that it looks similar to the overall image. This self-similarity is an important characteristic of fractals. Dr. Baybab Mohanty, the study's first author from Harvard Medical School, highlighted the astonishing nature of their findings, stating, Perhaps the most intriguing aspect is the evidence we found in the mapping from genetic sequences to RNA secondary structures. In certain instances, nature seems to achieve the precise maximum bound of robustness. It's almost as if biology is somehow aware of the intricate sums of digits function. Professor Ard Lewis emphasized, the allure of number theory lies not only in the abstract relationships it uncovers among integers, but also in the profound mathematical structures it unveils in our natural world. We are confident that this remarkable connection between number theory and genetics is just the tip of the iceberg, hinting at the numerous captivating links that await discovery in the future. As the scientific community continues to explore the mysteries of the natural world, this groundbreaking study stands as a testament to the unforeseen connections that can emerge when diverse fields collaborate. By bridging the gap between pure mathematics and genetics, this research exemplifies the power of interdisciplinary exploration in unraveling the complexities of life's fundamental processes.